Along those lines, so things you're looking for, you're solving a problem, you want the right the team. Is there you know, common mistakes that you see that maybe somebody does have a good idea other than maybe the, the people component that you see too often, right? That ends up sinking a, a really good idea. It sounds like you can see through that in some cases, but is there some common mistakes that you would highly recommend folks to avoid as they're going through this process? Oh boy. I mean, that's a list. Uh, I, I think that's difficult, but Okay. But the biggest, I mean, if I had to tick off some of the biggest things that we see that, that cause blow-ups very early on is that you and the co-founder don't really have a true chemistry, a true bond that's been there. You, you guys are just trying to work the kinks out, right? Yeah. And it means that maybe you took a sabbatical, Maybe you went to the university or something and were doing coursework and found this person and say, oh, this guy is my uh, soulmate. Let's go start you know, something together. I think it's really important that your co-founders are someone that you have worked with before. You have worked out your kinks. Okay. And that is kind of really the key thing because by the time you come to us for funding, we are trying to take you from... We're trying to get you ready for an A round or a B round. And we are able to take many risks. You know, there's a technology risk, the fact that you're going to get, you know, this ARR or not. What we don't want is you to blow up with your co-founder. Okay. So that's, I think, we've seen a lot of stuff where right before we're about to invest, something shows up and say, oh boy, this blew up. 